all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome back with Easter just around the corner. Of course, a lot of people are, are talking about rabbits. So we wanted to bring in the rabbit sanctuary, a representative from that in Simpsonville. Our guest today is Val Megan. Uh -huh. She is with the rabbit sanctuary. She's on the board mm -hmm. and she's going to be telling us about rabbit 101 because we have lots of questions. Good to see you, Val. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for inviting us yeah. out. So yes. we have lots of questions. And of course, like mm -hmm. around Easter time, people like to go out and try to get rabbits as pets and that's not the best idea for certain situations. Yes, rabbits make wonderful pets, but if you're not prepared or you're unaware of their specific needs, uh, they don't make good pets. Right. So we, our greatest influx of calls at the sanctuary to take pet rabbits is after Easter. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's important we get the message out that rabbits are really not for everyone and um, they're, they're not they're, they're not like their wild cousins. Mm -hmm. If you tire of a rabbit, you cannot turn it out outside because you see rabbits in your, in your backyard yeah. because they will not survive. They will starve. Mm. Oh, okay, let's talk about the ones because we have one that visits our neighborhood a oh, lot. I think we have a picture of one that's in your neighborhood, the Eastern Cottontail. Yeah. yeah. Right, absolutely. They're typically gray or brown, speckled, and they have they, this yeah. picture here you can't really see, but they have the white cotton tail. Right. This is what you see in the wild. This is not a domestic rabbit. Okay, so should we leave that alone, not even touch it if we see it? Oh, or? no, you should, yes, absolutely. It does, it does very well in the wild. Uh -huh. it's, its diet is, is provided for in nature. Okay. But we have some slides, too, of the domestic, d different domestic rabbits. Yeah, and how many domestic breeds are there? According to the uh, American Rabbit Breeding Association, they oh. cite 50. Wow. Mm -hmm. And of course, I just brought a sampling. The one in the upper left corner is a Netherland dwarf. It's one of the smallest breeds of rabbits, but don't let the size fool you because it can be a little feisty. <laughs> and the lower left corner is a Dutch, and they have blocks of colors, Aww. and we'd like to say they're wearing pants and a vest. I love that. They're a little fancy with their little tuxedo. <laughs> yes, right. Little tuxedo, yeah. waiting for a big event. Now, the middle one is Ollie. These are, as I say, residents of the sanctuary, and the dog that you just had on, Kenmore, uh -huh. he was a harlequin, and this is a yeah. harlequin and rabbit and oh it's that gosh. specific coloring. Uh, the one that you see in the upper right corner is Babbitt and no surprise it's a lion head. Mm. You see the outgrowth see of hair it. at the face yes. just like a lion's mane. And I've seen those before where they're like a, a little bit like the albinism like a little bit of the white. With yep. the, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Very and, beautiful. And in the lower right corner is Poppy and Poppy is a lop-eared <laughs> rabbit. Poppy looks really cute, Val. Yes. Poppy, Poppy looks like that your typical pet. Typical pet. Poppy was taken to a local humane society and an owner surrender. However, they don't accept rabbits as most humane societies and animal shelters do not. Mm. So the owner felt uh, they needed to get rid of it as quickly as possible and they dumped it in the parking lot. Thankfully, wow. the next morning, uh, one of the employees at that Humane Society found the rabbit and immediately called us. So Thank there's a real, a real need for what oh, you guys are doing. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. The little Dutch that you saw earlier, yeah. the one that wearing the pants and the vest, he was thrown out of a moving car in a bucket. <gasps> and luckily, what the heck? you know, well, and, and that's, that's the situation when people take on pets and they are unaware and they are unprepared for rabbits. So do some research. Do some research. Ask some questions. Do not confuse the wild rabbit with the domestic, and I think we have one more slide that I mm -hmm. would like to clear up some confusion as well yes. for your viewers. Is this the Easter Bunny? This is the Easter Bunny. <laughs> this is the Easter Bunny. It is not a wild breed. It is not a domestic breed. The Easter Bunny is to Easter what Santa is to Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you cannot substitute this Easter Bunny with a domestic rabbit. Mm. So a chocolate rabbit would be great. If you really want to connect with the Rabbit Sanctuary, we have a sponsorship program where you can sponsor a rabbit. Yeah. And you receive a picture and the rabbit's story. And that would be a wonderful way to support the homeless rabbits as well as celebrate Easter with a bunny. Yeah. That is such a cute <laughs> idea. Yeah. And if, you know, anybody wants to help, should they just go to your website? Go to our website, absolutely. Uh, RabbitSanctuaryInc.org. All the information is there. And we would welcome some volunteers who are interested in working with us. Such a great thing that you guys mm -hmm. are doing, educating people. Because I think rabbits are those animals that we probably just don't ask enough questions about. You just think, you oh, know? it's just going to live in a little cage. We'll take right. it out, love on mm -hmm. it, and then it'll be fine. No, that's no, not. that's not what they need. Absolutely. They have a very specific diet. If you do turn them out outside, they will starve to death. Mm. Their skeletal system is very delicate, so they don't like to be picked up and held. And Everything that sometimes wow. we do. Yes, so. absolutely. Sometimes we do those things, and it's not what the rabbit We're needs. thankful that the rabbit sanctuary mm -hmm. exists. So 50 years so and going. Thank Love you, Val. You thank do you great so work. Thank you so very much. Very thank good. you. That was interesting. Yeah, it was.